welcome to anandi's kitchen let's make andhra pappu charu this is mild variety of sambar we are not going to use any sambar powder here that's the difference here i've taken 1/4 cup of tuwa dal which i've soaked in water half teaspoon of turmeric powder one tomato i've cut and one green chili and two to three red chilies one or two green chilies you can add tamarind extract i've taken lime size I have taken the tamarind and soaked in water. One onion I have cut into slices. Half teaspoon mustard seeds, half teaspoon odad dal, then some hing, some garlic crushed, and some curry powder, and coriander leaves. Here, let's take a cooker, and now I am adding the dal which I have soaked. We are adding. some more water i have added nearly a little less than 1 cup of water more than 3/4 cup now i'll be adding the tomatoes and the slit green ch- chili i've taken two one medium sized tomato i have taken and about three red chilies we are not going to add any chili powder so i'll be adding three red chilies and here i have taken two green chilies some turmeric powder give a good mix let's add the oil and then let's cover and cook for four whistles till it is soft and mushy once it's done let's check yes the tomatoes green chilies the dal is perfectly done you can see now we are going to smash this with the help of the dal smasher you can see it's cooked perfectly and now let's see how we season it here i've taken a pan i've added the tadka that is mustard seeds jeera once it crackles i've added chana dal and urad dal now some onions just fry for a while we need not brown it adding the crushed garlic you need not remove the skin also just crush the cloves and add directly it gives very good flavor to this pappu i mean the pappu charu this you can even eat with idlis and vadas you can dip them and eat it's very simple and very light also i've added the curry leaves and the kadhi patta this is very common actually all the andhra households the teluguites i mean both the telangana and the andhra region i've added little salt now it will help to fry the onions a little bit fast you can see i've kept the flame low and frying the onions some people add drumsticks too if you want you can add but i've added only tomato and onions now i've added little bit of hing additional flavor adding the tamarind extract now 
let it boil on low flame now i'm adding the dal which we cooked along with tomatoes and the green chili and the red chili give a good mix keep the flame low add some more salt because we have not added salt for the dal and you can add some more water you can adjust this papucharu will be thinner thin it it should not be very thick nor very thin you can see the consistency let it boil for a while just 3 to 4 minutes will do we'll be garnishing with some coriander leaves and then it's ready to be served along with any curry of your choice papucharu is ready thanks for watching